Mailbag time again. Let's see what I've got this week. Interesting stuff. So don't forget to click like and subscribe if it's your first time here, or if you like anything I'm doing. There'll be links down below for most of these items as well, if I can get into the packages. Proust kit. It's got the original box and wrapped it in tape. Yeah, okay. So this is a PCB holder. So you can use this for assembling PCBs. Now I've been meaning to get one of these for a while. I already had my Panavice, which is quite a nice, robust, sturdy base and stuff like that. But it's quite limited in its sizing, and you have to wind in and out. It takes a bit of messing around sometimes if you're doing something quite big. But you can get these Pros kits or even other brands um, of these frames, and these basically will go on a frame. And mirror each other. And then you can just basically slide this thing along the frame. So if you want to do you know, a fairly decent sized PCB, you can. Now these feet bolt on somewhere. They bolt onto these bases here, so the bases will have the feet attached to them. So the rails are here to hold them together, so it's all sit on the base like that, you know. So you can do quite large PCBs with it, which is excellent. Been meaning to get one of these for a while. Got one now, Thinks down below. So there you go, I've assembled it. Here's a PCB in it, for example. All right, so you can just flip it around. This is sprung, this side is fixed, but like, you've got these locking screws, so if you don't want it to spin around, you can actually lock it in place. There's one on the back here as well, so if you want to help lock that side as well, that side seems more effective than that side does. But you basically do the locking screws here, and then you can slide the thing along the rail. Or, when it's in this situation, because you've got the spring, you can actually unspring it. Just do that and pop it out. And you can also do things like, put it halfway like that if you just want to do a really small edge for example you can do that too so pretty useful recommend you get one ah okay so this is a case for the tablet which I've picked up from Blackview let me get it. So Blackview has sent me this tablet to review, which I've done a review on. I quite like that thing actually, it's quite handy. What I didn't have though was a case to put it in. So what she wanted to do was to put it into a case to help protect it. And they sell these cases for their tablets. That's it. Now the idea is to try and put some kind of protection over this camera area here, because previously the camera was sticking out, and now it doesn't anymore. I believe you can also use this as like a stand and stuff like that too, or something, I don't know. You have to fold these up somehow. Apparently you can do something like that. Here we go. No? Maybe not. Is that it? Here we go. So you can actually fold it like that and choose a stand. Might work. Yeah. But the main thing I wanted it for was to protect it. And it'll do that job just fine. Oh, it's one of these impossible packages. All right. Looks like it's reasonably packaged. Oh, then again. Mm. This is a polystyrene with foil backing on it. A bit old school, if you ask me. But here we have a whole bunch of chips. HM4864P-2 I believe there's a whole bunch of new ones new old stock all got the same date on them, so are they fake? are they real? do they work? let's find out let's plug a uh, chip in legs are splayed out slightly so it probably is new old stock I'm just I do actually have an IC pin straightener somewhere do you think I can find it? I don't know what I've done with it it's disappeared <laughs> it's somewhere I don't know, anyway, that's that in there. Let's turn the power on. And let's test it. Does it pass? Does it fail? Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think
think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some egos to the face Baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll sh Yep, passed, excellent Good stuff, oh, I've got loads of these now then Number 14, any guesses about what's in it? That's right, it's bubble wrap. Okay, that's what's in it. One capacitor. 450 volt, 2.2 microfarad. Okay, I don't even buying it, but okay. So let's this DigiKey box and this thing. I think we'll do this one first. Then we'll come to the DigiKey one. This seems to have been seriously taped up. We should just put it in a box or something before, easier. Anyway, I guess tape is cheap where they are. It's just harder for us to do it. I think I might have to use a real knife in order to not scratch stuff up, hopefully. There we go. Ah! <laughs> okay, I know what this is. Wow, that took a long time to get here. It's a big ABS box. Nice. That took ages to get here. I actually got my money back on this because it never arrived. And that was months ago. <laughs> rubber seal around here it's postage problems I mean the seller sent it straight away but it disappeared postage problems are what's caused this to disappear um, but obviously it finally got here from the bottom of the pile at some post office somewhere uh, some mail sorting center somewhere dimensions 300 by 200 by 180 IP66 rated that's ABS sprues interesting you see the warp in there they're warping here, it's distorted in the area. Mold is running too hot. Cycle time is a bit too quick. But the rest of the box looks okay. It's just for the uh, the sprue. I actually got this for a project, which I had kind of given up on because I didn't have the box to put it in. Now I've got the box, so I can revisit this. So in the motorhome where we do events, we run events from that on some weekends, I have a web server that runs in there. And my intention was actually to make this web server set up a lot better. So I wanted to have a self-contained box, i.e. this, which has got a power supply in it, charging station, um, Raspberry Pi web server, built-on monitor so the monitor sits on the top, things like that. So I could actually just have it all in a box and I'll just plug the box in and have it like a centralised power supply and stuff like that. Because right now I've got these different cables and different power supplies and all sorts of stuff. So I wanted to have that. This box is a bit overkill, I didn't need a weatherproof box but um, it means I can put the power supplies and what have you in here and just have a mains cable coming in that's in breaks it all down after that so I don't know if I'll do a video on it or not I made it, I don't know it's probably not going to be tidy so I probably won't do a video on it but uh, that's quite a nice box, it feels pretty robust at least the top feels quite robust Bottom, bottom not so much. That bottom's probably about one and a half mil thick. Top, about two and a half mil thick. Guess they've got the thickness where it matters. Where you think it matters. The bottom's where it matters. So don't forget to be links down below for these and don't forget to click like and subscribe. Let's check the DigiKey one out. I've been buying lots of stuff from DigiKey recently because um, there's a project I want to build and it's like a the best choices I had for getting stuff was from DigiKey, so I did do that. But if you order a certain amount, you get free postage, so that's fine. You know, <laughs> free postage it is. Yeah, even though I split up packages and I've actually received packages at different times, they haven't charged me more postage. You only charge one postage, well, flat rate, because it's free. So I don't actually charge me postage for that. And you've got a bunch of parts. Am I going to go through these? Nah, probably not. Let's go through some of them. Shocky diodes. Press switches. 
bit of pin header. Hmm, thought I took that off anyway. Um, P and P transistors, You've got some capacitors there. Another switch, don't know why. Um, some screw terminals, a trimmer, crystal, 60 megas crystal, I think it was. Another capacitor, some more trimmers, more capacitors. What's that? Say 32 position ZIF. Um, some more transistors, what are these? Some MPNs, MPS A06 AP, some MOSFETs, I think. More capacitors there. What's this? Relays, capacitors, some more headers, some resistors. Zena diode, top of my Zenas. Let me know if you uh, know what I'm building. Some of you may recognise the parts list. Um, LED diffused LEDs. Um, more yellow LEDs. Some power sockets. Two point one millimeter sockets. This is a buzzer. And this is a 16th position dip socket. I guess we'll figure that out. Anyway, that's some of the stuff ordered. So I'll be doing a project soon once I've got all the parts together. I'm still waiting for my other stuff, I think. Maybe, I'm not sure. Because I ordered some from DigiKey. Also got some from 1114 and some from RS. So I think, I'm still waiting for RS, I think. I'm not sure. I'll have to actually do a stock of that. Some of these parts are for a circuit board I'm waiting for. Which may or may not be here. Some of these parts of another project I'm doing as well. So there's a couple of things mixed in here. Click like and subscribe if you like my back videos and you want to see what I'm actually going to be up to with all these parts. And I'll catch you later. Bye.